exactly. Nice set behind you, scrambled today. Right, <laughs> and then what you just said there, Rich, was we're gonna look at computer models, and we say that word so often when we talk about the forecast. A model, we all know it like a model airplane or like a model ship that you put in a bottle. We do the same thing with the atmosphere. We create a model of it, but we couldn't put that into a glass jar. You can only create a model of what the atmosphere is doing and what it will do in the future on the computers. So we end up doing it that way, and the computer models come together in the forecast that we share with you every day here on King 5. There's something important to know about this, though. The math is excellent. We could tell you exactly what the atmosphere was going to do from here on out if we knew exactly what the atmosphere was doing at this moment on every spot across the globe, and that's impossible. So these forecast models, which take us out in time, you see all these wavy lines? They're only as good as the information we put into them to start. And since it's impossible for us to know exactly what every little square inch of the atmosphere is doing on this planet at this moment, We've got to run a bunch of different forecast models with a bunch of different possibilities, and that's why we come up with so many different numbers, and that's why you've seen such different numbers over the last several days. Hopefully that gives you a little background knowledge on this. We'll be back with the rest of this coming up after the break.